Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a lovely day. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I get to share with you a project for Gerda Steiner Designs using this cute little stamp set. This came out recently in the shop and it's so adorable. It's called Frogs and I love this little guy. Um, when I first saw him, my first instinct was those little froggies that stick to your window. We have frogs over here and sometimes when I do dishes there'll be one stuck on my window but he's facing the opposite way so that's what this guy reminded me of. So we're gonna make a fun card using him. So I'm gonna zoom in. I stamp my little frog with my memento ink and now I'm coloring him in with my Copic markers. Um, I'll list the caps out for you guys and I'll play a little bit of music and when I'm done coloring I will get you back. Okay, coloring is all done. Um, I did take my darker shade of green and I added little dots of detail. Um, I think you'll be able to see them more in the close-up pictures, but um, I just think it adds a lot of texture to this little guy. But I'm gonna fussy cut him out and I'm going to leave a little bit of a white border. His little toes and his finger, well, I don't know if froggies have toes or fingers, or little suction thingies, or were really small to cut out. So I left a little bit of a white border, and there he is. Okay, next I'm going to bring in a, a frame die. Now this is creates a window frame, and it, I got this in a card kit, and it's no longer, I couldn't find it, um, but I took the measurements, and I found one that's pretty close to the same size, and I'll link it down below. But I'm just going to create a window pane and then also take the outline and create a background with this die here. So I'll have two pieces. So we're going to, we are going to actually create a background on the back of our window pane. Um, I wanted the froggy to be, I wanted the card to look like you were looking to the outside of the window. So to do that, I'm taking three stencils for my background and we're going to start off with a cloudy stencil and I'm going to be using my oxide inks in my blending brush. The ink that I'm using here is Mermaid Lagoon and I'm going to do three rows of clouds. Just very light shading. I wanted a very soft and subtle look for my background and I think this is going to be great. Now for the midsection I want to bring in some hills. So I'm bringing a hillside stencil and everything that I use today, guys, will be listed down below in case you want to check it out. But I thought we'd create a couple hills. And for the color, I'm going to be using pumice stone. I'm just going to switch my blending brush here. And we're going to do two rows of the hills. And I'm kind of going intense. Um, not too intense. This is pretty light shade. But um, more towards the edge of the stencil. That way it's a real defined hill for my background. I'm going to lower it just a little bit and twist the stencil so I get a different hill, hillside here and add a little bit more shading. And then for my very bottom, we're going to bring in a grassy stencil. And for that, we're going to be using peeled paint. And just kind of figuring out which one I want to use. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the hillside. I'm going to go pretty intense on the edge of my stencil and kind of blend lightly down and then we're going to add one more row. I just got to flip it around and um, for the, the bottom row I wanted to do kind of a lighter shade and then I had that that mermaid lagoon um, still on my glass mat so I'm going to pick up a little bit of that color just to change it so there's two different tones. Just giving my background the illusion of more dimension. As I did my grassy heels I lost 
or my grassy area, I lost one of my heels. So I'm going to take my heel side stencil and just kind of intensify that second heel side. I was happy with the look with two heel sides, so I wanted to stay with that. Just lightly shading it, careful not to hit my grass. And I think that creates a real lovely background. It's pretty soft. And I guess if you put the, the frog right in front of it, I think he's going to look adorable. <laughs> Okay, I have a piece of acetate. I'm gonna go ahead and use my glue, go around the frame. Um, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I like the effect, the shininess of the acetate. It just gives it more of more a realistic window look. And then I'll just glue that down. And my froggy, we're gonna actually put inside the window. So he's, um, our cards are gonna be basically like we're looking out side the window and he's going to be stuck on there. <laughs> okay, for my sentiment, I chose the one in the stamp set. This is Hi There. I'm stamping it with my VersaFine ink and then I thought it'd be cute if we had a little thought bubble or a word bubble and I'll just tape that down and run that through my die cut machine. We'll add a piece of foam tape behind here and our sentiment's going to go on the outside of the window. I suppose we could have put it on the inside, but I was afraid the window panes would kind of obstruct the sentiment. So the outside looks looks just as nice. I'm gonna kind of play around with my placement. I think my froggy is a little too high, so we're gonna lower him. And then we're just gonna remove the release paper and stick our sentiment down to our little window pane. Now, after we have this done, I'm gonna go ahead and pop up my little froggy this way, it looks more like he's stuck to the window. <laughs> we'll just stick him down to the background. And then I'm going to go ahead and take some thin strips of foam tape and add them around the back side of my window pane. I'll just remove all the release paper and this is going to fit right over my background. And I think he looks so cute. <laughs> Okay, now I had already adhered a piece of pattern paper to my A2 size card base. The pattern paper has pink with white stripes on it, and I thought it looked a lot like wallpaper. So um, I just completely covered the card front here. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my window pane right in the center. And I think I love the soft colors of this, just makes the froggy stand out. And I had a piece of lint inside my window pane <laughs> and so I was kind of shaking him so it stick behind the froggy maybe it'll stick to the the foam tape that he was popped up on <laughs> but for bells and whistles I'm bringing in some iridescent bubbles I'm gonna add a few here and there and I thought we were missing just something so I have some little puffy heart stickers and the one that I'm using is pink and white striped so it went kind of well with the background, our little wallpaper. But that's my card for today, guys. I did want to let you know that the Gerda Santa shop will be closed until the 17th of July. And so um, the links that I provide will be from a different store. But they're out there. And I want to thank you so much for joining me. I wish you a lovely day. And we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.